Walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. There was a dear man in our city who didn't feel he could do much in the assembly, but he thought that maybe he could offer his services to clean the building. And so he did that for some time. One Saturday night he called up my grandfather and said, I'm sorry, but I, I just can't do it anymore. Oh, not feeling well, said my grandfather. No. I said, it's just that, uh, well, uh, the Christians, they, I don't know, they just don't appreciate it. And, and uh, they've been criticizing me. I see, said my grandfather. Have you been doing it as well as you can? Yes, I have, he said. Well, said my grandfather, I suppose you better quit then, if you were doing it for the Christians. Well, no, quickly the man added, I wasn't. I was doing it for the Lord Jesus. Well, do you think he appreciates it? Well, yes. Well, then why don't you just do it for him? Of course, they took advantage of the Lord Jesus too, didn't they? And they didn't appreciate it. We didn't appreciate it. But you will notice that someone appreciates it. When men took those hands that had fed them with bread, miraculously provided, those hands that had touched their blind eyes and made them see, those hands that had healed the leper, when he didn't have to touch them, but they hadn't had a touch in such a long time, and so he went ahead and touched them anyway. Those hands that blessed the little children and raised the lame to walk again, they took those hands and spiked them to a tree. That's what they did. And they didn't appreciate it. But someone did. It was a sweet-smelling savor to the nostrils of God. Oh, Christians, what a great principle this is. If we remember that there is someone who's smiling down upon us and saying, I appreciate it. And I won't forget a thing you do for me. It is a sweet-smelling savor to God.